Hi, my name is Tim Miller, and I'm a member of Christ Lutheran Church. And next week, kids will be calling me Coach Miller. Yes, I will be coaching our Path to Victory sports camps at Christ Pewaukee. And we'll have a soccer camp in the morning at Wagner Park and a basketball camp in the afternoon in our campus gym. So you might be asking, why is our church doing sports camps? Um, isn't there better things for our pastor and all these volunteers to be doing? Well, our sports camps aren't like the average sports camp. Yes, we'll be teaching sports skills, we'll be teaching teamwork and sportsmanship, but our main focus will be on helping the kids to connect with their Savior Jesus. So our sports camps are, are different, and to give you an example of that, I'm going to share with you a devotion, um, a shortened version of a devotion that I will be sharing with the kids this week. So, what is the most important thing for you to protect in basketball? So if you're playing in a game, what do you need to protect? Of course, the answer to that is the basketball. And we've learned all kinds of techniques how to protect that ball, how to, how to use the ball in different ways so that we can score and be successful. And when we don't have the ball, how we can defend and get that ball back so that we can have it to win the game. And that's so important in basketball. But what's the most important thing for us to protect in life? We could come up with a whole big list. We could list things like our life, and our life is important to protect. Um, we could say our family, uh, our house, our wealth. We could go on and on with a list of things, our reputation, that we should protect. But the most important thing to protect is our soul. Yes, God made us with a body and a soul, and our body is going to die one day, but our soul is going to live on forever, either in heaven with God in a perfect place, or away from God in eternal punishment in a place called hell. We want to protect our soul and make sure that it lives with God forever in heaven, and God wants that for us. But how do we protect our soul? Well, we've learned in camp um, that when we have questions like this, the best place to go, of course, is God's Word. So if we look up Ephesians uh, chapter 6, verses 10 and 11, we find an answer to this question. God tells us, Finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So we protect the soul, our soul, from the devil. We know that the devil is constantly wanting to take us away from God. He constantly wants us to turn to sin instead of to Jesus. So we protect our soul by staying close to Jesus, by realizing our power comes from him. And then it says to put on the full armor of God. What does that mean? Well, that means we go to the most powerful weapon of all, God's word. And we stay in it because in God's word, we hear God's amazing promises for us. We hear about his amazing grace, his undeserved love for each and every one of us. And when we stay close to him in his word, in this weapon of the Bible, oh, it's like putting on that armor. It helps our faith to stay strong, and it is so important for each and every one of us to do that to protect our soul. So, we know the devil's out to get us, and we know we have a weapon, God's word, the shield, okay, that armor that we put on. And what's most important is where our, our victory comes from. And we learned that, and actually, we're going to get a shirt that gives us that message. So all of you will be leaving with a shirt that looks like this. And it says, protect this soul. And then it says, I will. You notice that symbol next to I will? That's a, a little symbol that reminds us of who does protect our soul. And that protection comes from Jesus. We know that his death and resurrection guaranteed that our sins would be forgiven. We learned about that already this week and that we could go to heaven because of him, that our soul would be protected because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Oh, what a great message that is. I hope you never forget that message. And the most important thing we learned this week was that God loves us. Now, that's an example 
of a shortened de devotion that we will do with the kids. The kids will leave with that shirt. You'll see those shirts around along with all the helpers having them with that message to put on that full armor of God. I pray that you put on that full armor of God every day, that you realize that God's word is powerful and you're into God's word. Um, and that you also realize that you have the opportunity to invite people to church every week and to our sports camps. Invite families with kids to come and have their kids grow in their faith, grow closer to Jesus. Um, all that information is on our church website. So as we think about protecting our soul, we remember that Jesus says, I will. He does promise to do that. And he also tells us that it is finished.